device fingerprinting identification of some sort. Um, and it is an egregious, in my opinion, right? It is an egregious b breach of privacy, right? Where people actually have softwares that whenever you visit a website, they will get a notification that says, hey, this guy visited your website and just go talk to him or he's, here's his LinkedIn profile. That, that is a little bit like that is, that is not how the internet is built. It's built on privacy. It's built on openness, not identifying every single person on the web and what they're doing. That's surveillance. Um, so what we're doing, um, like with the technology is a little bit different. The purpose is to prevent, is to help uh, uh, legitimate businesses stop illegitimate use kit user users from from taking advantage of them and hurting them. Like one of our customers, uh, one of our e-learning e customers, there, there's a case study online. Mm -hmm. You can see it. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, she mentions that hey, a lot of students they like they like we do interviews with them and they say like, oh we love this so much I've shared it with all of the people in my <laughs> class. I like I gave them all access to my account. Fantastic. We love that you love our product so much, but we have to pay our salaries and we have to pay right for everybody who's working at this company. So they um, they talk to them like, hey, just so you know, this is illegal. This is against our terms. And then um, and then they and then, then it turns out their biggest source of new users is from people giving other people access. So when they start locking it down, then they get a lot of growth. 